Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, my beautiful water signs. Welcome to your a reading for the first half of February, February 1st through the 15th. This is for all water signs, um, uh, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Um, I'm gonna be doing just the first half of the month. It's a freestyle reading and it is a general reading. So please take um, what resonates with you and what doesn't resonate with you. Uh, and, and I'm sorry, leave what doesn't resonate with you. Just a heads up, I just did the Earth reading um, for the Earth signs, Taurus, uh, Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, and I didn't intend for these astrological readings to be twin flame oriented, but then a bunch of messages for the twin flames came up. And that's kind of where my life is oriented right now. So I'm starting to understand that even though I'm branching out and doing these astrological readings, there is going to be a lot of twin flame energy coming through. So if you don't resonate with the twin flame journey, don't worry about it. There are still messages in here for you, um, as that is what is intended. But because I'm so heavily connected to the twin flame journey, I can't because I'm on it. I can't. Well, it's not that I can't, but I still have... Um, I'm still pulling some messages from them too. So just understand, this is a big old general, this is like a huge general <laughs> reading, either for twin flames or not, and definitely for all of the signs that we're discussing here. So in this video, we've got water signs. So uh, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, what is going on for you for the first half of February? Now, it is Valentine's month. We do have Valentine's Day this month. So I am going to be pulling one card from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck, which is designed to help us attract more love into our lives. So just one card for that, and we'll have a little chat and see how that resonates with the rest of the reading, right? But let's get into the general information. So, Spirit, please bring forth the best messages for our beautiful water signs here, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, however you want to, want to organize it. I tend, as a Taurus son, I tend to be very close with Cancers, so maybe that's why they came out first this time. <laughs> All right, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. What's going on with you for the first half of February? First through the 15th. Now, this is a, a freestyle reading. I'm going to be pulling a column of, uh, two columns of cards you'll see, and we'll see how the story unfolds, yeah? All right, one more shuffle, one more shuffle for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. First half of the month of February 15th, 1st through the 15th. Okay, let's cut the deck. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so interesting. Look at this. It is definitely a month of love because water signs, you got the, uh, a page, I'm sorry, the, um, Lord, the Knight of Cups as well as your overall energy. And so did the Earth signs. So you de you guys definitely have some messages of love coming through. Um, yeah, you may have another water sign that's coming forward and saying and declaring their love for you. But I didn't really feel that when I did the, the Earth readings. Um, as far as a specific sign coming through. So, um, and I'm not really feeling that here either, but I just felt like I should say that. I don't know, maybe because a lot of people do. But anyway, um, yeah, your overall message here. Aha, interesting. Okay, so your overall message here for your month, for the first half of your month, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, whatever. <laughs> um, there are... There are messages, there's a message coming in. Someone's gonna be contacting you, potentially. Or you're gonna be doing some contact and you're gonna be trying to send a message of love to someone. Um, and that's going to lead to a choice needing to be made. Here. Like a choice between two people, either for you or for them. Right? And so a choice is going to be made, but there's going to be a victory coming out of it. Maybe they choose you. Maybe you choose someone that um, you've wanted to be with for a long time. Uh, or maybe you find that the choice you make actually was a really great choice for you. But either way, there's a victorious energy around this for the first half of your month. So February is definitely going to be a month of love. I mean, we knew that already because of Valentine's Day, but yeah. Oops, somebody's texting me. Okay, so let's get into the uh, messages here for you. 
the Fool, Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and Strength, Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. And finally, for this row, we have the Moon and the Nine of Cups. Okay, so starting with here, right here, uh, the Fool and the Six of Pentacles. The Fool speaks of uh, a brand new journey. Um, it speaks of uh, uh, taking a leap of faith, a brand new cycle starting. Um, and with this, coupled with the Six of Pentacles, I'm seeing a, a renewal in a relationship of some sort. I'm seeing a balancing in a relationship. Um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go ahead and say for those of you on a, those of us on a twin flame journey, um, there's a renewal. There's a brand new start to your relationship. And in that start, there is a greater balance between give and take. Now, if you've been on the twin flame journey and you are, um, you know, you've noticed whether you're a divine masculine or divine feminine, you have been aware that there has been an imbalance. One side has given more to the other than the other has been either willing to or able to reciproc reciprocate. And with this uh, fresh start here in the fool, there is a greater sense of balance of give and take in the relationship now. Um, and when it relates to, like when we go, if we're speaking twin flames here, um, the overall message is that a choice has, is being made and a declaration of love is coming in and it's bringing a victory for you. So that's fantastic. Now, moving forward with the message, we have the Page of, of Pentacles and Strength. So um, this is, a, this is a, a, a new beginning. I'm seeing, I, I'm seeing a new beginning uh, for an individual, for a, a person. I want to say, if you're on the Twin Flame journey, I want to say the Divine Masculine is starting a new, um, is approaching life from a new point of view as the Page of Pentacles. But then um, other than that, outside of the Twin Flame journey, there is potentially a message coming in. An offer coming in. Potentially a really strong offer, which is signified by the strength card here. Um, I'm also I'm also picking up that a message a message um, could be coming in or an offer could be coming in um, that would require that it's going to require a lot of strength to get through. I don't I, I'm not really sure what specifically that is. That is a pretty obscure message, but that is some of the energy I'm feeling around this card right now. For some of you, maybe you'll get a message that you don't necessarily like, or it's not really, it's not easy to take. Um, and you're being asked to draw on your strength to see the truth of the message, to get down to the real nitty gritty of it. Um, also, I'm seeing that that someone is preparing to make a material offer to someone else, and it's taking some time. The pentacle suit um, is very much about earthly things, and that doesn't necessarily move too fast. So with the strength card here, whoever is waiting for this message is being asked to just be strong, have faith, and just hold on, because the message is coming, the offer is coming. Right, and that we see in the next column with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Brand new fulfillment on an emotional, a brand new emotional fulfillment, fulfillment is going to come, or a brand new emotional start is going to come through a brand new material start. This could definitely be in love. So this emotional, this emotional fulfillment, this brand new start of something could be the love being shown on the material end of life, of things. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what else to really say about that P Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Like, that's pretty self-explanatory. And then when we get into the last part of the thing, of the, the, this column here, we have the moon with the nine of cups. And I am being guided, or what I'm channeling, the message I'm channeling through here is your wishes are being fulfilled, but you don't really, you can't really see it yet. And you're being asked to tap into your intuition and to look past the illusions of what you may see right now. So in relation to like the fact that um, we're coming up on, on Valentine's Day, 
you may not hear from the person that you want to. And that may cause you to uh, get wrapped up in all kinds of illusions, being like, well, this isn't real. Um, he or she doesn't really love me, even though I can feel like they do. Um, this could definitely pertain to some people on the twin flame journey. If you don't hear from your, your twin for Valentine's Day, you could get caught up in the illusion around the fact that, you know, this isn't what you really think it is or what you thought it was. But then you're being asked to say, no, no, your wish is being fulfilled. You just got to keep holding on. You have to be able, you have to look past the illusion and connect with your intuition to understand greater, to bring greater peace, greater clarity to yourself, to understand more. Okay. I want to pull next to the next column here. We've got the Eight of Pentacles with the Page of Wands. We've got the Three of Wands with the Emperor. Ooh. We've got the Five of Pentacles with the King of Cups. And finally, we have the Knight of Wands with the Three of Cups. So for the first, for the first half here, right underneath this Fool and Six of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So um, the Fool has ignited a brand new passion within some of you. Pi uh, can Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And you're taking that passion and you're really, um, you're learning something new. You're becoming an apprentice again. You're you're starting off on a brand new journey for yourself. And you're, you're um, I'm seeing maybe some of you are learning to become entrepreneurs. Some of you are developing hobbies. Um, uh, and with the Six of Pentacles that's right above it, I'm seeing some good financial stuff coming in. I'm seeing a good balance between um, supply and demand here. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're if you're into hobbies, like I'm, I'm seeing if some of you are artists, um, this could be a good financial start for you. Like you've been doing a lot of hard work and you've been really drawing on your passion about it. And so now um, there's there's good exchange coming through for you. There's balanced exchange coming through for you. That's for for some of you guys. Um, for most, I mean, just a general message here, I'm seeing there's a lot of, a lot of you have found a new, uh, have garnered a newfound passion. And with it, you are really developing yourself further. You're honing your skills. Um, you're creating product, you know, that you can sell and make some money off of. You are, uh, I'm being drawn to the image of the spider web here. I don't know if you can see it. You see that 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 web with the red spider on there? Um, that's telling me that you're really weaving a brand new web of yourself for yourself to generate more income, to attract more more of what you want to you. And that's a really good thing. That's a really good thing. So next on the journey in this story, we have the three of wands with the emperor. This is telling me that some of you are really waiting for something to come in. Really waiting for something to come in, right? And with the three of wands here. And that absolutely, that absolutely resonates with the message that came through here with the page of pentacles and strength. Some of you are wanting to hear from someone or, or some of you are wanting to say something to someone. And um, whether you're waiting for the message to come in or you're trying to send the message, you're being asked to draw on your own inner strength. And here, so this is, this is, this, these two cards here are really just um, clarifying that. They're saying you're waiting for your ships to come in. Or in some cases, you're trying to figure out how to, your ship has come in already and you're trying to figure out how to get out there. And you're being asked to really, um, uh, uh, take advantage of some serious self-control and order um, and uh, really master yourself, especially if you're waiting for something to come in. Be patient, be sturdy, be steady, be disciplined, yeah? If you're trying to get to something, that discipline is really going to help you get there, right? Really draw on that emperor energy that, um, that I want to say controlling, but not controlling in an... On, on a, uh, not an overly controlling sense, more in a disciplined sense, right? Really holding firm. Holding firm to what you believe is true also, to your own beliefs and all that. Um, yeah. I mean, the Strength card with the Emperor card are really a good match here when we're talking about waiting for something to come in or trying to figure out how to send out a message to someone. 
it is a good combination because you're drawing on your inner strength and you're drawing on the stability of the emperor to see this through, whatever that means, in whatever way that means for you. Yes. Moving forward, we have the Five of Pentacles with the King of Cups. Now, um, there is a sense of being feeling left out in the cold here with the Five of Cups. But what I'm also getting mostly for you guys, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, you're, I'm getting that some of you uh, would really do well to ask for help. Look to assistance. Ask for help from your friends. Um, you may need to ask from help. Ask help from someone that you see as a King of Cups, uh, an older gentleman that could be um, a mentor for you. Um, if you're if you're looking for love, like say, because we are in February, we are looking for um, we are moving towards Valentine's Day. And you're just like, you You feel left out in the cold and, you know, because you can't find the right person or things keep failing and blah, blah, blah. It might be helpful to you to, to, to speak with someone who's really emotionally connected, emotionally stable, um, and see if maybe you can discuss where you're going wrong or maybe why you're maybe attracting the wrong people or whatever, whatever the situation is that's making you feel like you're out in the cold look for help you know go speak to someone that you whose opinion you really value yeah in some other cases um when we talk in relation to the ace of cups and ace of pentacles that's right above these two cards i'm feeling like this out in the cold situation this lack this feeling of lack situation is really just an illusion. It's not real because you have the King of Cups here who, and in and, and this situation, when this is an illusion, I feel like whoever the King of Cups is representing, it's saying that this person really, really loves you, really has some emotional, strong emotional feelings for you and is really ready to start to take things to the next step or to the next level, which is why we have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles right above it. This could resonate with people on the Twin Flame journey. For the Divine Feminine, if you feel, because the Divine Feminine has been really feeling left out in the cold a lot lately. But coupled with this King of Cups here, it's saying, no, it's not what you think, actually. There is a brand new start coming. So it's really, it's really not what you think. Because the Divine Masculine <laughs> really loves you. Really, really, really. So just have faith and trust. Now, finally, we have the Knight of Wands with the Three of Cups here. So for some of you, this half of the month, I'm seeing some of you maybe getting into some third party situations uh, for this whole, in this whole, getting caught up in this whole loving Valentine's Day energy. Now, I'm not trying to judge here to each his and her own, right? But so the third party situation is coming up with the uh, with the three of cups, but then, but the three of cups is clarifying the knight of wands. Now the knight of wands can be pretty promiscuous sometimes. So and and the knight of wands can rush in with passion on something and then rush right back out as soon as quickly as he came in, right? Also, the knight of wands can can rush in for passion with something and then you know once once um, they get defeated or they lose the energy or they lose the, the interest in it, they can just disappear, right? So what I'm seeing here is for this first half of the month, um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, and I really feel like this is mostly for the Scorpios out there, maybe some of the Cancers too, um, but uh, you may be getting into some quick third-party situations that like, like some sexual situations that are really passionate, but then fizzle out real quick. Um, I'm seeing a lot of one night stands, I want a, a lot of hookups. Um, and again, I'm not judging to each his own. I'm just saying this is what's coming up with the cards. Um, some of you, some of you, if you're already in a relationship, some of you may caught up may get caught up in some sort of energy that that leads you to um, going outside of your relationship. Now, this wouldn't this. I would caution against that, especially if you're in a committed relationship. Like, be very aware of this Knight of Wands energy. You know, um, don't go 
wrecking a home for something that's just like a fleeting lustful energy. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, be careful of that. Be careful of that. And that's coming up now, I think, mostly because of the whole Valentine's Day energy that we're moving into. There's so much loving energy out there. Like, love is really in the air this month, but sometimes with love can come lust. And a lot of the time, we have have trouble distinguishing between whether something is just lustful energy or if it's actually loving energy. Yes, if, you, if it's really love, you know. So be careful. Be cautious of that, because that's some of that is happening this month. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So now what I want to do is I want to get our message from the Whispers of Love Oracle deck. So, Spirit, what message do you have for our water signs here, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, for the first half of February 2018? So that would be February 1st through the 15th. What messages do you have for our beautiful water signs here? Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. What you got for us? What you got? Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. One message, please, for our beautiful water signs. Oop, there it is right there. Appreciate this moment. Okay. Water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Your message for the Whispers of Love for this month is appreciate this moment. Yeah? Be present. Be here in the here and now. Be thankful for what you have right now. Okay? I feel like some of you are a little disillusioned with this card. And you're being asked to look deeper into the situation. You see how she's looking into this conch shell? I mean, she's, a, she's definitely appreciating the moment. But I also see her looking a bit deeper into the situation to find the truer parts of what's really going on for you. So if you're having trouble finding love, um, appreciate, just appreciate the moment at hand. Don't focus so much on what you don't have. Focus more on what you do have. Focus more on the self-love you have, the self-love you can generate. Um, yeah. And if you are with someone, if you do have a date for the Valentine's Day, if you, if you are in a committed relationship with someone, if you have been dating someone for some time, whatever the case, uh, whether it's a brand new relationship or wh whether it's a long-standing established relationship, you're really being asked this month to appreciate the moment you have with your partner. Um, obviously, you know, it's, it's Valentine's Day, so if you're with somebody, you may be doing something, but uh, you're being asked to give, put some extra appreciation into it because that can really benefit the relationship. It can really, really help solidify things. It can help make things... A little better you know and if you're having trouble with your partner in this moment um, finding ways to be appreciative of them to to regenerate that love you have for them will absolutely benefit you here right right because see the caption underneath this says each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love so even if you're being faced with a difficult situation with your partner right now there is still something for you, there is still something within this situation for you to, to grow from and to find a greater sense of love and appreciation, not just for your partner, but for yourself also. Because one of the best ways to love your partner is to love yourself the way you would want them to love you. Because then that will, if you love you, and I don't mean in a selfish way, I mean like in a, a compassionate and balanced way. Because if you can't love yourself first and, and, and fully, then you're going to have a, a lot of difficulty loving someone else, right? So the more you can appreciate yourself, even if you're in a, a, a tough moment with your partner and you're beating yourself up about some things that you've done, if you can show compassion and, and forgiveness for yourself and appreciate yourself in this moment as you are, then you can do that for them too, right? That, yeah. There are some of you... There are some of you out there, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that are going through a, a rough situation right now. And uh, I think that's why this message here with the Knight of Cups, I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups came through because you might be, because there's a difficult situation going on, you might be tempted to like break free or uh, uh, um, 
move act out of the relationship without ending it first you know what i mean like okay i'll say it cheating <laughs> you might you might be tempted to that to do that um just be careful um don't try not to put anybody at risk put anybody in danger um but also if if you're really if you're really going through it this card of appreciate this moment is a big message for you um, and I can already feel some of you being like, well, I've been trying to see the good in this and I just can't. And it's like, well, I understand. I understand. But there's, but just know that there is some, there's always something to be appreciative of in any moment. So just try. Yeah. If you really, I'm hearing this message very clear. If you really love this person, you'll find a way. You will find a way. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I love you all. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have a specific question you'd like to ask me, you can hit me up on Instant Go. Um, if you want to do an in-depth reading with me, you can email me. And if you would really like, if you're being called to donate to my channel, I would really appreciate it. It would be so incredibly helpful. All of that information is in the description box down below. Other than that, please like, subscribe, and comment. I would really love to hear from you guys. So if anything resonates with you, if you want to discuss something, please comment. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you for the second half of your February reading, okay? Love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.